Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. We're at chapter 321. This two week wait has been some of the toughest waiting I've done for My Hero Academia. That last cliffhanger we had was. It hurt me. It hurt me because uh, we get to see, we're seeing Class 1A doing their best to bring Deku back and we got to see so many things last chapter. We got to see the various, a lot of the students reach out to Deku, appeal to his emotion and it was so wonderful and I hope this chapter, if if we do indeed get the rest of them, that we just continue to get more great moments with the students reaching out to Deku um, I don't really have a whole lot of predictions for this chapter outside of, uh, there's a couple things that one, we saw someone's car approaching in the last chapter. That's either all might's car or it's, uh, like Hawks and genius's car, but I don't know. It could be, it could be either one. So hopefully we'll get a resolution to that. Find out who's approaching them. And, uh, I, my only real prediction is, I, I said this last week, and I, a lot of people disagreeing with me. I said that I think Ida should be the one to reach out to Deku to have the final, like, words and saying. A lot of people were saying it's probably going to be either Uraka or Bakugo. And, like, I get why people think that. But, I don't know. I still truly believe that it should be Ida because that would be such a great roundabout for his arc with the whole stay and stuff. But uh, if it is Deku, if it is Bakugo or Uraka, I totally get it. Um, that's just my personal hope anyway. Um, other than that, I really don't have any predictions. I just kind of want to dive on in. I think we get a color, another color page this week. Uh, so let's just, let's just go in and see what happens. Indeed, we do. We get a color page. Okay. Uh, this looks like it's promoting the movie, though. Um, we get Deku in his... Uh, world heroes mission, uh, kind of pure black and green costume. Very cool. Has a date of August 6th on it. Uh, I'm not sure when it comes to North America, but rest assured, I will definitely be seeing that when it comes to North America. Um, pretty cool art, uh, has Deku and then has like some of the characters of the new movie. Uh, not bad. Uh, hopefully we get an actual color spread for the, this chapter though. Oh my god, we do. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, this is so good. This is so good. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. So, <laughs> a little bit out there. Uh, we get this factory setting, right? And it has all Class 1A plus Aizawa. And they're, like, constructing this mecha all night. <laughs> like a giant mech like warrior kind of like a Pacific Rim type thing. And yeah, Bakugo on the the pad like kind of I guess like giving instructions and uh, on the front, uh okay. So in the foreground, the closest to us, we get Mina, the closest pulling up a peace sign, best girl. Uh keep being amazing. We have Bakugo, uh Ida, Deku, Uraka as like the foreground, the one closest to us. And in the middle ground in the back, we have Kirishima and everyone's just like helping construct this giant robot. This is a great color panel. I love this. This is so random though, but I, I love this. This is still good nonetheless. Uh, really, really cool. I'm gonna have to make that Mina my Discord uh, uh, profile picture. By the way, link in the description for, the, uh, for that. Also, if you like these videos, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. It actually really helps out the channel. Um, again, only if you really do like these videos, I do these every, every week. Uh, but that's awesome. That is such a great color panel. Okay. <clears throat> uh, by the way, the, uh, before I begin, these are the unofficial translations. I always read the official ones when they come out on Sunday, but these, these unofficial ones usually come really close. I just want to reemphasize that. Okay. So first panel, we actually get that car again. Um, that doesn't really look like All Might's car. I'm not sure whose car that could be. Uh, hopefully we find out if it's panning to it right away. Breathtaking. Check out the lead color page. Okay, that's just editor's note. 
Okay, so it's driving through the rain, and in the distance we see uh, ice. The Oh, we actually see the giant pillar of ice that Deku got slammed into uh, in the background. That's very cool. Uh, so this car is like right there. It's it's close, whoever whoever it is. Um, Endeavor shouts uh, Hagakure. Okay, so first, first panel we get Kirishima, Hagakure, and Ayuma. They're uh, putting some sort of restraint or something on... Um, what do they call this guy? The dictator, uh, and and Endeavor is coming up. So Endeavor's here. Okay. Wow. All right. Um, maybe that was Endeavor's car. Maybe that because it's parked right there. Maybe that was Endeavor's car. Okay. You'd think he'd fly. Actually, no, it's raining, so he wouldn't fly. He's not as fast. We captured him using the Bakugo. We captured him using the Bakugo, Todoroki, and Yairozu combo. I just helped thaw the ice afterward. He shout. Uh, Kirishima shouts to Endeavor. Dictator, he might not be alone, says Endeavor. We need to confirm the safety of the anti-hero civilians that spread nearby. Go and search the area with Hawks and the others, he says to Kirishima and uh, Higakure and Ayuma. Endeavor, leaving all this to the students might lead to a faster resolution. He, I, I assume someone's talking to him in the uh, radio chat. Oh shit, he looks up, he looks up to his right and you see this, the he- ice piercing heaven wall or whatever that Todoroki made and you see the, the impact where, uh, is Deku still in there? Anyway, you see the impact where Deku like hit it and, and Dara's like looking at this. Kirishima says, they have such flashy techniques, my help might not be needed. But damn it, I still have lots of things I want to say to him. Oh, Kirishima... By the way, is his hair black here? Did he full on let it like let the the dye out of his hair? Because um, earlier we we had seen that like the black was already starting to come back from like the roots of his hair. Very interesting. He takes his mask off and he says, "By the way, kind of that mask thing." He says, and he looks very upset. Kirishima, best boy. Well, not best boy. I think Ida's best boy. You're second best boy though. <sighs> okay. So he, he says, I have so many things I want to say to him. Me too. We, says Aoyuma. Of course he has to say we. <laughs> so they, they storm off and they leave Endeavor with uh, the dictator. Hawks, as of now. Okay, so he's talking to Hawks on the radio. Endeavor, sa- uh, Endeavor says, Hawks, as of now, the students won't be a hindrance to us. And we cut back to, oh my god. Okay. We cut back to the giant ice pillar that Deku got slammed into, and it starts to crumble. So I can only imagine Deku is like about to burst out of this thing. Now uh, we get uh, in the foreground, like closest to us, we get uh, Froppy looking on at this. Uh, we cut to Tod- Todoroki Midoriya. The current state we're all in could be a part of All for One's plan. He could take this opportunity to attack UA. This it's so weird to think about, like all the students know the secret and you just hearing Todoroki shouting out like this could all be part of a uh, all for one's plan. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the ice is shattering. If you still can't find him after you've searched extensively, consider an alternative plan so that you can protect you a rather than leaving it completely. You can stay by its side. Toroki continues, let us fight with you. As he's shouting down at Deku, because it looks like Deku's below him at this point. Um, Because I think think Todoroki's on top of this pillar. Yeah, he is. Okay. Your, your, uh, uh, your, okay, wait. So he's thinking to himself, your next. And then Deku says, no. And then he think he he cuts to like his his mindset again. Your next. Next, and we get. Is that the first user? Or is that Shigaraki? That looks like Shigaraki in the far back. And then in the middle, uh, you have Nana Shimura, and then the foreground closest to us, uh, you see All Might. This is a fight between one for all and all for one, shouts Deku. You guys can't keep up. Ho, ho, ho. And we get like Deku breaking out of the ice and you can't even see his pupils like and the way they draw him. It's just like, again, so sketchy and like 
peppered of just like light and dark like lines. Oh, man. <laughs> Horikoshi, you're just freaking killing it. Okay. So Todoroki is like, <clears throat> like he looks down like as this is happening. We cut to Bakugo. We don't see his face. It's just like the back of Bakugo's head. Interesting. Uraka-kun shouts Ida. And boom, the ice wall sh- uh, shatters. Uh, Froppy comes in doing some sort of tongue attack. Uh, Midoriya-chan. Okay, so Froppy actually took a swing at uh, Deku. Oh, no. She's she's carrying Mendetta. Oh, okay. I've been waiting for this. I was like, is Mineta going to have like a stupid like line for laughs or is he going to have a genuine moment here? Let's find out because he's he's now in the in the fray. He's <laughs> so he's on the end of the tongue and it looks like he's holding one of his like beads of hair attack. You know, the one uh, Deku looks a little bit shocked at this Mineta grape chain as he sticks to Deku. He like swings it and sticks to him. I never thought your power was all that unique, shouts Mineta. And Deku looks looks back at him. What made you what made what, what okay? What made me admire you was the fact that even as you were covered by a cold sweat and trembling in fear, you still led us all, all of us to victory. Oh my god! Yeah, dude, he's thinking. I he's thinking back to. Freaking season one, man, where he, him and Froppy were on the, the boat in the, the rescue center. Okay. Menena coming out with a genuine moment. Oh shit. Okay. And then we get Deku closing his eyes and he just looks, he looks like he's in pain, man. He, I can't, oh, this. Okay. So we get three sort of black whip spears that come out of Deku's back and the middle one hits Mineta directly in the chest. That's actually really sad because Deku, because Mineta's crying here as he says that man. Mineta with a genuine heartfelt moment, everyone. The day happened. And then he gets immediately punched in the gut for it. That's very sad. Okay. So the next shot uh, the black whips, the ones way back went like, they're just reaching buildings around him. Whoosh, whoosh. Sorry, Mineta Kun. I'm already, he says. Okay. We, we get a shot of, of Deku kicking or something. Black whips, elasticity plus one for all 45% plus Fajin. Foe. We're not letting you go. Iraka comes into the scene. <laughs> she's okay. So it looks like, okay. So what I think's going on here, Deku's trying to do the faux, uh, 100%, uh, like matching all Might's speed, uh, which we know isn't like true speed. It's just sort of him, like how he slingshot himself with lady in the gaunt fight. Um, we're not letting you go. Shouts to rock as we see her flying into the scene. <clears throat> so, okay, some people were speculating that Uraka might confess here that she, like, loves Deku. I, this is not the time. I ho- I really hope they don't do that here. That's all I have to say before, before like, this starts. This, that would be so corny. Please don't, please, Uraka, just, like, be a badass. Like, a no- I, I, I expect her to just be, just be a badass here. Okay. Deku-kun, she shouts. Again, Deku looking in pain as he closes his eyes. I think Bakugo Kun will feel humiliated if everyone goes to save him. Okay, so that's that's they cut back to the scene where, if anyone remembers, uh, when Bakugo was captured by the villains right before the Kamino Ward fight, uh, and they're 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 showing everyone's like reaction and like because the students were divided whether they should leave it to the heroes or go, go save him himself. And this is that scene where Uraka, like she, like it just says, I think Bakugo Kun will feel humiliated if everyone goes to save him. That's what she did say that back then. So this is actually really interesting. They're cutting back to this. It's not the same as before. She says, Deku again, looking in pain. Oh my God. And then poor Uraka, like she barely misses. So Deku launches. He does the, he does the, the slingshot move. And Uraka is like, I, as he just <laughs> like flies past. And then Uraka, dude, she's looking badass right now. She looks back. Guys! Oh, whoa! 
Okay. Wait. A, okay. Wait. Whoa. All right. So right behind Uraka. Holy shit. All right. We got a giant ramp. Looks like it's made of ice. I can't tell for sure. It looks like ice. And then you have a group of students on the back, right? And it's some sort of beginning of train tracks or some sort of ramp mechanism. We get Mina coming in, which by the way, I was worried that Mina wouldn't do anything because acid like kills. Um, solubility 0.1% protective coating acid, man. Oh, genius. I always, okay. You know what? I'm so stupid. I always thought like maybe Mina can still produce like the liquid, but not make it acidic, like make it super, super, super low acidic. Okay. That actually confirmed. I don't know why I never like thought about saying that. I always like wondered if she could, but, um, solubility 0.1 protective coating acid man. Is she coating someone in acid man? I mean, obviously it just said protective coating acid man, but is she putting Bakugo in? Okay. Whoa, dude, they're doing a, a crazy team combo here. Uh, Hold up. I need to like see this closer. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. So this is crazy. Like I said, they have the ramp. Uraka is out in front of the ramp. <clears throat> and you have like a bunch of students grouped up here. Okay. So you have Mina making the acid man for someone to get coded in. I assume it's to like lubricate them to like ramp off this ramp. I assume. Cause, cause in the next panel we get someone ramping off. I, th I'm, I can only imagine that's what it's for. I don't think it actually be to protect them from Deku. That'd be interesting. Anyway, uh, go Todoroki kun, go Todoroki. I don't know why I added kun. I'm just used to that, I guess. So we have, uh, Tokoyami, uh, Shoji, uh, Koda and, uh, sugar man. They're essentially shoving. They're shoving someone. Okay, so we have, there's Bakugo and Todoroki. They're back to back, which is so sick. And it looks like Todoroki's blasting with fire, are about to blast with fire, flash freeze, flash freeze heat wave. So yeah, he's sort of like, oh my God, this is, okay, who is, who's in the, who's in the goo? Hold on, I, I'll go back and analyze this later. Um, we have so many things we want to say to you, but we know they won't reach you. As this, whoever it is, launches, please be Ida. Please be Ida. I'm just thinking about this now. Please be Ida who launches off of this. But we know they won't reach you. Touch. Okay. So Uraka, who's, who's floating out there, touches whoever it is that's covered in goo. With the goo, you have Baku. Is it Bakugo who's covered in? No, it can't be. He's not really, like, covered in it. He's, he's attached to whoever this is. We can't keep up, huh? Says Todoroki. Deku, Deku Kun, we aren't asking to be protected. As these, these shots of the students, oh my god, it's so good. Explosive speed turbo. Shots Bakugo. We're not going against what you want. Cluster. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. This combo of them launching whoever this is. It, I don't think it's Bakugo. Because he's not really covered in the goo. I don't know. It might be Bakugo, but anyway, <clears throat> the combo of which they're building up speed for launching this is crazy. <laughs> the imagery is so good too. We just want to be by your side. Deku. There's so many things I want to know. There's so many things I have to say to you. It is Ida. It's fucking Ida. I called that shit. I knew Ida was going to be the guy to like, Get the final say in. There's so many things I have to say to you, but the one who has the body to ascend such speed other than you is our class representative. Fuck yeah. Go eat a. <sighs> Fucking called it. This shot is amazing. Our class. <laughs> I got to read this again. This is so fucking good. Thank you. There's so many things I want to say to you. No. So many things I need to, I, I have to say to you, but the one who has the body to withstand such speed other than you is 
our class representative. I am so fucking happy. Ida, I've been wanting this man to come back in the spotlight. And I fucking knew it was going to be him. You were always ahead of me, he thinks to himself. And as we get Ida just like blasting off with G-Force of unknown magnitude from this combo attack. And he's launching himself with like Recipro as he's flying through the sky at Deku. <clears throat> That's why I will always... As we cut to... Whoa! Okay, whoa. If there was if there's anyone who could complete the current Deku. Oh my god, this is the person that the second user was because we're cutting to the second user who's thinking this. If there was anyone who could complete the current Deku. That's why I will always continue to challenge you with the same will at the same pace as we get eat up. Grabbing Deku's hand. I, I'm i so fucking happy. I'm sorry for dropping F-bombs. This is exactly... Okay, I'm just going to keep going. I can't, I can't wait. Oh my god, we got a close-up of their two hands holding. That's like friendship. Power of friendship is undefeated in anime. You, you, don't, you don't trifle with friendship. It has defeated the mightiest of villains and tumbled the tallest of mountains. It would be the people who are willing to run alongside him. Chapter 321. But no, let go, says Deku. I won't. Shouts, uh, shouts Ida. And Janium is a hero who will run anywhere to grab the hand of a lost child. Sticking your nose into other people's businesses. What makes a true hero, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I called that shit. I called it. I, I, I said that shit. I, I compared that to the stain chapter a while back. I was like, this is, this, this is setting up the completion of that circle. I'm so happy. I am. I, this is <clears throat> again, this is unofficial. I could be completely wrong, and maybe the unofficial person put this in. But my God, I hope I'm right. That was, oh my God. Sticking your nose in other people's business is what makes a true hero, right? Oh my God. Yes. Yes. As we get Ida crying his eyes out, and Deku's crying his eyes out too. <laughs> His hand reached him. Now Deku will dot, dot, dot. From class A to one for all. I assume that's the name of the chapter. I <clears throat> we need some water here. <laughs> Threats a little. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Fucking Ida. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep saying it. Ida. Ida. Okay. Ida is the best boy in the entire damn show. And you want to know why? It's because above all else, he is so pure. He, he might be a stickler for the rules, but man, this guy really cares about his friends. <sighs> I, 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 I please have that be the official translation. Him saying exactly what Deku said to him in the alleyway. So I don't know if it was last, I don't know if it was last week that I made the, this prediction or it was like two weeks ago. No, it had to been like two weeks ago. Maybe? I don't know. When I said that... <clears throat> sorry, I'm like kind of losing my, my voice here. When I said that Ida would be the one to have the final, like, really impactful saying to Deku, I just, I just, it just made so much sense to me. 
that it would come full circle from what from it's the same thing, right? Ida was blinded by the path he was going down. He was he was on a path of, of revenge and of just hatred fueled agenda, right? And he was gonna get himself killed. Stan was about to kill him. And Deku shows up and says, like, and, and he, he was like, I didn't like, so why are you here? Like, this is not, this doesn't concern you. And then when Deku says meddling where you like, don't belong is the essence of a true hero. Like around along those lines. I just thought to myself, this is, this is, this, th- why, why would this not be Ida? Right? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't express how fucking happy I am, dude. This is such a good chapter. <laughs> this was, the imagery, the imagery in this chapter is, is absolutely phenomenal. I, <laughs> we even got a Mineta moment. We got a Mineta moment where Mineta is crying and says a genuine thing. This chapter, it went plus ultra. You bet your ass it did. Oh, the color spread in this chapter. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry that I'm like rambling here. Ah, uh, Okay. <clears throat> I'm just so happy. I <laughs> All right. So let's let's break it down. There's there's a lot going on here. For those of you who uh just come for the reaction and don't stay for the analysis, thank you for watching. Uh this episode might be kind of long. We're already at 26 minutes. Uh but for those of you who want to stick around, let's just let's just go back and let's let's highlight some amazing things here. Okay, so uh, so Endeavor is here. Um, that was probably his car. I assume he just didn't fly here because it's raining. Uh, although he could have. Um, so they take Dictator in. I like Hiroshima's line about uh, they have such flashy techniques. My help might not be needed, but but damn it, I still have lots of things I want to say to him. Okay, so I mean, like when I when I say Ida like is gonna have the last saying, I, I mean I mean more so of like the. Like I'm not saying like people like Hiroshima won't say things to him because I I guarantee like I don't know they're they're off to go help him uh, Aoyama and and Kirishima. I'm not saying this chapter is the end of the 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 attempt to bring Deku back in. Uh, so I mean I I might be wrong in that Ida is like the last one, but damn it if it if his moment wasn't spectacular in this episode in this this chapter. All right, so I like I like what he was saying. I like uh the moment at the ice wall with Todoroki and <clears throat> Deku thinking to himself, you're next, you're next. Like he's just thinking about battle to himself in his head. And he's just, uh, he's just so far gone that he's like convinced himself that like, he just, he's almost like he just decided to sacrifice himself. Right? Like it doesn't even matter what happens to me. Um, which, which we know is to be true. Cause even Bakugo says like, he doesn't even, he doesn't, he has no concern over himself. Right. Um, oh my God, this was, so the Mineta moment, like I said, was great. Uh, I, I joked about this last week or two weeks ago. I was like, what is, uh, is Mineta going to go for a comedy moment or are we going to actually get like a genuine moment? And they went for the genuine moment, which makes me so happy. Uh, he's crying. He's legitimately crying when he says that like, I admire you because like, not because you're a quirk, but even though you're covered by cold sweat and trembling in fear, you still led us all, all of us to victory. And then poor Mineta takes a gut punch by a straight jab of black whip. That looks like it hurts. Uraka flying in. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Uraka gets some amazing, amazing panels in this, this chapter. Everything from her diving in to like when she's shouting to the rest of the team, dude, she looks fucking awesome. Like, <clears throat> and Mina getting to do something. I was kind of like, well, I'm, I'm still kind of, I, I still kind of wish like she had a moment where she like talked to Deku. I think we, I think we're still missing a few of the students, uh, in that regard. Um, we got Mineta, uh, we got, okay. So we can mark some of them off the list, I guess a little bit here. Uh, Kirishima hasn't had his, his, his opportunity yet. Alguma hasn't his, had his, had his opportunity yet. Um, uh, who got crossed off the list here? So 
technically Ida got crossed off the list of people still need to talk to him. Uh, we still need Bakugo. <clears throat> so there's still one. Uh, we still need Mina. She didn't really have a moment yet. Uh, Uraka, I feel like still has probably more to say to him. So I think I'm going to count her as someone who still has a moment. Ida probably has a lot more to say too. This next chapter is probably going to be the conclusion of it. Uh, so there's still a few students, but, uh, yeah, the, the, when they were making this ramp and they were like covering someone in, uh, in the goo, I, I, it looked like, it kind of looked like it was like Bakugo, but you couldn't really see for sure. Cause Bakugo was in the front, in front of Todoroki, right? But dude, this fucking combo move to get launched. Oh, it's so cool. You have all these, the, the strong muscly people in the back pushing them with the, a lubricant from Ida's uh, from Mina's acid man to help them slide off the ramp. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you have Todoroki with the initial burst of flash flash freeze to like get them off the ground, like a rocket. And then once they get into the air, you have Uraka touching Ida to make him weightless. And then you have Bakugo with the secondary ignition of like his blast to launch him even further, which is so fucking cool. Uh, The imagery in this chapter is so good. Our class representative. Oh my God. I just, I'm beaming with joy right now. I really am. This is so good. And I love this inner monologue from Ida. Deku. There's so many things I want to know. There's so many things I have to say to you. But the one who has the body to withstand such speed. Oh, wait, no, this is, this might be Bakugo's inner monologue. This, okay, shit. This, this right here might be actually Bakugo's inner monologue. Deku, there's so many things I want to, want to know. There's so many things I have to say to you. But the one who has the body to withstand such speed other than you is our class representative. Because it's it's talking like a third uh, person sense. Like it's, talk, it's talking about Ida as if it's a different person. Uh, wait, no. Actually, no, 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 no. This isn't just Bakugo. Extra, sorry for me being stupid. It's early in the morning and I'm, I'm hyped up. Uh, this is essentially kind of like a collective thought of like uh, either all the students or just these main three who are launching Ida. Because it cuts to Uraka, then Todoroki. And Bakugo, who are like the main ones other than Ida. So it kind of makes sense that those th three or four would have a collective mindset. So forget what I was saying about it being just Bakugo. He's kind of involved in that group thing. <clears throat> God, I can't get over how fucking cool his shot is of uh, Ida firing his Recipro, like flying at Deku. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the G-Force on him, man. This this has got to be the thumbnail, the shot of uh, him diving uh, to to grab Deku. That's so the thumbnail for sure. And this uh, interesting this this shot of uh, this close up shot of Ida, <clears throat> his glasses they look like they actually melted from the Acid Man. Uh, we know it's a low power Acid Man, a zero point one percent acid like uh, acidity or whatever she called it. Uh, it looks like Ida's glasses actually did kind of melt from that. Unless I was just the G-Force that damaged him. But, uh... 10 out of 10 chapter. This is, like, for me, one of the best emotional payoff moments the series has ever had. This might be just one of the best emotional... This might be the best emotional payoff that this series has had. I left my damn chair during this reaction that, that 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 I don't know if that's ever happened maybe it has maybe I did it during chapter 280 it's been a while um, <coughs> mm. oh, it's so good this is without question this is probably my longest reaction in terms of a video we're at 35 minutes almost Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
And please leave your thoughts down below. If you too love this episode, or this, this chapter, I keep saying episode. If you too love this chapter, please leave your thoughts down below. I called it. It wouldn't be Uraka, Todoroki, or Bakugo to have like the key moment. It's your motherfucking class representative, Ida, best boy, coming in clutch. Oh, I'm so I'm so glad it harkened harkened back to that moment in the alleyway. So good, so freaking good. I really hope that's the official translation. Sticking your nose in other people's business is what makes it true here, right? I, I, I hope it's like, even if it's just along the same lines, I'm totally cool with that too. I, I, <clears throat> but like, if it was word for word, what Deku said in the alleyway, mm, mm, good stuff. Anyway, this video has gone long enough. Let me know what you guys thought down below. My throat hurts. It's early in the morning. And I did a lot of shouting. Might have woken my neighbors. I don't know. Until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. Way to go, class rep. Always believed in you. <laughs>